Pisces, welcome to your weekly tarot card reading and Pisces weekly astrology predictions. Guys, I'm going to go into the astrology throughout the reading. The cards that come out in the center section are going to be able to help me unravel what's going on currently. Anything that comes up in the past, I know the cards uh, are telling me something that is happening right now or that is happened in the past that is directly impacting what's happening right now and then we're going to get into the future there's always an extended reading guys and i hope that you'll join me for that those links are down below in the description box and i'll pin it to the top of the comment comment section too i hope that you guys can join me for that um pisces remember this is an energy reading so it comes to you at exactly the right time the astrology is going to cover a specific date and time sure but when it reaches you when the energy reaches you and you feel the impact who knows um, I can't really say that really depends on when you're calling the message into you. So the message is for you when it reaches you and however it resonates in your life. So if I say something that sounds romantic, but it applies more to your career, apply it that way. It's, it's your reading. For those of you who are just um, finding my channel, Thank you so much for finding my channel and clicking on the videos. I, um, I'm really glad that you chose to give me a chance. My name is Michelle and this is Born Without Boundaries Tarot. I also have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation and I'll attach the link somewhere above during the reading so you can join me daily for a daily general tarot card reading live chat. Um, so it is tense energy. Of course, I say that in a general sense. It's tense energy this week though, uh, Pisces. Predominantly, you have Jupiter that's going to be semi-square to Uranus um, all week long. It's also going to be square to Venus. Um, it's going to be quincunx to the north, no I mean to the south node, which means there's trouble coming out of your comfort zone. Or, or in some ways, maybe thinking that you have come further out than you actually have. Um, and of course we have Neptune and Neptune is in a really kind of t uh, tough position this week with um, in the beginning of the week squares to both Venus and Mercury which are still conjunct in Sagittarius as well as still a continuous square to Mars so it's a sense of I think in, in a lot of ways not realizing how far you've come or um, in some ways being deceived about how far you've come especially self-deception since Pisces is filled right now with Jupiter and Neptune, there's a there's a strong well, there's a loose conjunction between the two still, both in Pisces, both in their in their home space of Pisces. So, how can it not impact you? There's a, a there's an opportunity for growth, or there's an, a mentality of wanting to grow, but are you growing? Are you are you fully understanding of of how you have been growing or which direction you've been growing because there is a lot of confusion there is a lot of fogginess there could be even be some health conflicts right now or conflicts of interest financially or especially with romantic partnerships and being able to communicate within them so this is a challenging period squares represent challenges guys they do not represent permanent conflicts in fact squares are kind of blessings in disguise um because the challenges help make you stronger so let's get into the cards and look a little bit deeper into the current situation we have beaver spirit lay a solid foundation and we have see the big picture so this tells me you are trying to build something for the future um putting a foundation in place this could be with a relationship which means Maybe you're thinking about getting married to somebody or thinking about do we have the capacity or do we do we have the compatibility to get married with each other? Um, and lots of challenges in which case would be coming up this week in terms of communication, not not being able to like speak the same language as each other or um, you know in some ways feeling a distance from your significant other that you don't want to be feeling. Um, but this is definitely uh, in response to looking toward the future of, of knowing who you want to build with. Both of these cards are upright, guys. So there is that sense of, yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. It doesn't mean it's easy, right? Um, but it is something that you see. You see your future. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a, a career path. Um, you're trying to build something slow and steady and work. Or the cards are suggesting that you use this really Virgo energy 
and be very slow and very pedantic and don't rush yourself because all those squares are going to make things really kind of difficult to make decisions this week or to see things clearly so going slower and taking your time is absolutely recommended building things with integrity will help to you know build things that last oh okay think on your feet lots of improvisation but that's also sagittarius energy i think there's some surprises that are coming to you um, that are coming to you, especially with regards to what you were trying to build. Now, it could be good surprises. We're going to get deeper into that. Pisces, please. Pisces. Pisces energy, please. Um, Sagittarius energy could be, like I said, something foreign. Ooh, okay. What is think on your feet? What are the surprises that are coming to Pisces, please? The Hierophant and Three of Wands is here. Guys, please remember to give this video a like if you're enjoying it. And also remember to subscribe to the channel because I'd love to see you back here every week. Um, what, what are they, what are the surprises? Okay, so something that you had put a lot of effort and energy into, knowing that you were investing, like almost like an investment of sorts, could have been an investment of time, definitely a commitment. So, th so people are, somebody's thinking of long term. I don't think if you know if you're thinking of marriage or signing a contract with a company, but this is definitely a sense of looking in the future, wanting to build something solid. So, and, and being more traditional in that sense of wanting it to be like tangibly guaranteed in some way way three of pentacles is appreciation of work so working really well with somebody appreciating their work and realizing that maybe you found a great partnership or a great group of people that you know you can last with or stick around or you know that this is going to work out so those are very good good things now think on your feet could just mean that it was a surprise to you or that um that it's going to take a lot of agility and flexibility this week um to support the decisions that you've made to go long term or do something long term with somebody two of pentacles is here is that there are shifts there are changes you're gonna feel this week like you're unbalanced and honestly with all the squares that are happening with jupiter and neptune it's going to knock you. It's not, it's going to, don't feel surprised if you feel unbalanced. This is going to be a journey of faith this week. And you're good at faith. You can just trust your psychic energy. You know, you can just, you can say, okay, I don't feel steady. I don't feel secure, but I do know it's worth it to keep moving forward. Slow it down so you feel as secure as possible. But ultimately, there are shifts going on in your life. And it's, it's saying basically, that it makes sense that you wouldn't feel comfortable with this because you've never done it this way before. This is real foreign territory to you. You could even be deciding to travel and go abroad or put yourself out there in a direction that you haven't gone before um, because you have an inkling or you have a feeling that it's the right it's the right way to go and the cards which you suggest that yes absolutely it's absolutely a good way to go but but the feeling of instability while you're trying to stabilize is going to be like the duality that you're going to have to deal with in this week and then we have in the future wait wait, wait stop okay stop wait stop i'm not going to tell you yet i just want to <laughs> let's get the moon card nothing has come up in the past by the way nothing so Pisces. Let's get some details. Yes, we have just begun the reading. Oh, somebody was putting um, a timestamp um, on my on my readings, and I don't like that. So please, please don't do that. And if you see it in the comment section, um, please like 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 at me because I will delete it. Um, these videos are built in a very specific way and they start general and they get more specific because I, as, as a spiritual guide, I, I feel like I have to take you from the widest perspective into focus. It is a journey. All of my, all of my card readings are a journey. They're not quick and fast answers, um, to satiate somebody's impulsivity. 
I'm, you know, almost four years into doing this on YouTube. I know how to leave timestamps. I have left timestamps in the past. If I felt like it would enhance the viewership, you know, or, or how you guys experience the, the reading, then I would put them in. I know that they actually degrade the reading. So that's why I intentionally do not to add them to the description box or the comment section. So please do not do that. Um, if you do, I will delete it. And if you persist, I will delete you. I will block you. Um, I'm, just let, I'm just letting everybody know because it, 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 it was something that had to be said. I didn't realize it was going on and it really kind of upset me to be honest with you. Um, so we have emotions are running high expect a very emotional week now this doesn't have to be just from the conflict or the challenges that you're facing but i think that you have a lot on your plate like if you look at the charts you'll see there's so many squares there's quincunx there's just so many there's semi squares and 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 pisces is still pretty much a packed house with those two powerhouses neptune and jupiter still there you got a lot on your plate. There's a lot going on. So I want to tell you that that's where the emotions are coming from. And it, it feels like you might project it outward and think you're emotional because of everything that's coming at you from the outside. I can guarantee you, even if, even if nothing was coming at you, um, you would be having an emotional week. It is just going to trigger your emotions. Everything that's going on. I mean, I mean um, the conjunction between venus and mercury being square to neptune it's just it's tremendous energy those two planets together you know they want to get things done they're getting a lot of attention they're getting a lot of affection but at the same time they don't feel good enough about themselves when they're square to neptune they they, they have a self-deceiving way of believing what they are or not believing in themselves well enough so it's going to be emotional no matter what and all the pressures from the outside and when you look at the chart this Pisces area is really a hot spot. So there's so much going on in your first house. You know, it, it, you're going to be emotional this week. It really isn't about whoever you're dealing with, but whoever you're dealing with, it's going to exacerbate it. So a good thing, a, a good practice to put into action this week is count to 10 before you react. Um, limit yourself to the things that you have to do like give yourself a fucking break don't be so hard on yourself this week because if you try to push this week you could break or you could do some permanent damage to a relationship that you really love so i think if if space space is recommended this week space to just let things move as slowly as possible um emotions are going to be high no matter what um okay and money isn't isn't <clears throat> The most secure spirit wants you to know that you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job at whatever you're doing. So please do not judge yourself based on how much returns or financial returns you're getting for it. That could be part of what is compromising the way you see yourself because, you know, we do have Neptune that is square to Venus and Venus rules finances, right? So there's a sense of, there's a sense of, you know, you know, what you're getting or the monetary <laughs> feedback or, or um, the monetary take is not necessarily, and I'm just gonna go and say it, it is not aligned with your value. And I think it's in some ways could be really offending your value and making you feel devalued, which is making you very emotional and maybe very pop-offish or reactionary. There's a sense of a switch or a change in your, um, in your, in your income that is, making you feel not as worthy but you know what according to what spirit has to say you're doing great work and people are taking notice that you are an exceptional future investment and that you are worth the investment do not worry you actually will get a su surprise opportunities i just don't think that i think because it's not happening right now you're starting to let that make you feel bad about yourself well spirit wants you to know do not feel bad about yourself um, your what you are worth and the work that you are doing is is not proportional to the money you're getting paid or not getting paid to do it right there was a future card let me flip it around for you now this is where your future is headed wealth and abundance property ownership and really secure financial security 
you have put a great deal of effort or energy spirit wants you to know you have put a great deal of effort and energy into um being the best at what you've done at what you do and it will take a little time for people to realize it but don't you worry because they're already starting to realize it and your finances are going to change and they are going to change for the better they are going to get stronger but right now right the challenge right now is staying in the moment, living in the moment, you know, not not sulking in the past or trying to rush too fast into the future. If you look at the charts, Saturn is in a very strong position. In fact, I'd argue Saturn is the only planet that's in a really harmonious position on all sides. Every other planet, except maybe Pluto, um, is which is kind of unaspected this week, but, but Saturn is harmoniously aspected. It's, it's, it's sextile to the Venus-Mercury conjunction, and it is trying to Mars. So Saturn is really ruling, taking ownership of all the inner planets. And what does that mean? It means the way to go is slow, steady, by the rules, play by the book, and integrity. And if you try to rush things this week, if you try to cut corners this week, um, Saturn will come down hard. I mean, and because it's in the most prominent, beautiful position, right? The beautiful positions that it's in right now, I gotta say, it's not your natural way, right? Your natural way is instinct and intuition and, and your psychic abilities and your creativity. But now it's all about getting things done in pragmatism, which is the administrative work, the paperwork side of things. And if that is not naturally who you are, then slow it down and take the time you need. It is integrity over quantity all the time when it comes to Saturn all the time so just let's give yourself that kind of space you are doing a great job and more people are noticing than you realize so tell me about this three of wands here six of swords is saying you are going to be able to get over the upset and the sadness could be some sort of mental disorder or mental stress or just pain a heartache from the past six of swords upright is saying you are going to be moving out of that this week you're going to be confronting the pain or confronting what it was causing you suffering in the past and be able to move on from it this could also indicate movement there's actually a lot of movement in your reading so you may be deciding to move or move on from something or move out of somewhere. Um, Ten of Swords is something is definitely done and Five of Swords is complete and total defeat. The two of these together is like a negative plus a negative is a positive. So it's a sense of end, the ending of defeat. You know, the ending of feeling defeated. The ending of, it's like almost like things have gotten as bad as they're going to get and ultimately, if you lost, you lost. Accepting the loss and being able to start from scratch. But this is also saying moving on from that, right? So moving on from the distress, moving on from the pain. And I'm going to go ahead and say defeating the defeat, defeating the ending. The ending is done. It's over. And I think that there is a choice to move on from that. Finally, being able to carry yourself in a direction that... Uh, in a direction away from the pain away from the suffering i know i gotta kind of that's gonna ah uh, i know trust me i wish i had the skill set of like <laughs> setting things up right but i don't um <sighs> knight of pentacles there's a job offer that's coming a job offer for employment why should we be psyched for this queen of wands it is something that you are going to be passionate about or it's a job offer um of something that you a job offer for something that you've been working on very hard on like very it's it's like um oh god like queen of swords is usually creative something that you created so this tells me it's a pathway that you forged by yourself and you're about to get a little bit into the future maybe by the end of the week maybe by the end of the month not too far in the future there is a job opportunity that's coming in for you. 
there there is a road forward there is employment knight of pentacles is employment right it's not necessarily going out for yourself but it is something that you did for yourself you created for yourself and because somebody saw your value there will be a job opportunity know your worth know your value and do not let yourself be undervalued it could be a very generous offer if you keep your standards high oh shit oh there's lots of opportunities coming in for you yeah we have the six of swords and the queen of cups is somebody who just like can't stop giving to you um and the devil is here and the ace of wands so somebody's going to make you want to sign a contract the devil is definitely that saturnian energy um but in this context i think that they just want to they want to contract you they want to contract you and you have a great deal of passion for it but they have a great deal of passion for you let's get deeper into that we're going to get into specifics let's go to the extended pisces the link is below i'll see you guys there